Hi there friends, I have a vital message to share with you today that I just couldn't wait until the next end time hour to share it. I have been travailing over this for the last 24 hours. The world is getting more and more volatile and leaders promoted by the people around the world are stepping up to the plate to try and stop the madness. Globalism is and always will be a failed system. World empires always fall and this revived Roman Empire will also fall as prophesied by Daniel and John when Jesus finally returns and blows it all away in the wind. Now today we see it toppling. Globalism is in a precarious state as the peoples war against it and demand freedom from its enslaving power. Now, while God's providence is certainly here, and this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for us, the church, there is also a great darkness ascending and ready to tear the saints and the church apart and anyone else who attempts to stem the flow of injustice perpetrated by the globalist ideology. The spiritual works of darkness are now in a heightened state of alert and they are flying about in vast numbers, having risen from the pit where they will one day be banished to forever. Last night before sleeping I found myself at war in my bed, wrestling in the spirit realm as my body became under attack from the forces that are trying to destroy what God is doing on the earth. I found myself hovering above the Oval Office and watching President Trump signing one executive order after another. I was literally paralysed in that position. I couldn't breathe and I couldn't move. I was being buffeted from left and right. A multitude of voices were hurling insults and accusations in my ears. They were voices both human and demonic, both from the church and the world. Eventually, I was freed and I fell asleep. Friends, the Apostle Paul tells us in Ephesians 6.12, that we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Friends, that means there are evil leaders in the unseen world, spiritual leaders of darkness, just like there are physical leaders here in the seen world. There are mighty evil powers in the heavenly realm, just like there are mighty powers powers here on the earth below. Now in that unseen realm friends these mighty evil leaders of darkness are waging war for the hearts and the minds of everyone on the planet and that's including me and you and the leaders of this world. Now, the global regime, including Obama and Hillary and others like George Soros and its liberal minions, have already succumbed to these evil, powerful leaders in the heavenly realm. There is, of course, salvation and deliverance open to all who will bow the knee while it's still day. Now, friends, we must pray and be on alert, lest we too fall into temptation and deception and get thrown off course. We must also, friends, pray for our leaders wherever they may be and whoever they are. 1 Timothy 2.2 says, Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. Friends, we pray for them so that we can live at peace in this world. At the moment, friends, it is teetering on the brink. The global elite, the mainstream media, Hollywood, many religious institutions and the conditioned masses are waging war against populism. But now, friends, more than that, the devil and his demons are waging war against the people right now. And in actual fact, it is these spiritual forces of darkness who are behind the humans and agitating them to destroy this uprising of liberty upon the earth. This is a spiritual battle that could easily be lost if we don't get praying now. Now friends, Trump, as the most powerful man in the world, is now a target for Satan and his most powerful spiritual leaders in the heavenly realm. And Satan is about to launch another violent offensive against him. Now if we don't pray now, friends, Trump will fall. Trump will fall into deception and temptation. Remember, friends, Satan offered Jesus the world on a platter. This is exactly what the devil is offering to Trump right now. Can you feel the forces of darkness at work here? Now, of course, friends, Jesus was able to refuse that offer from Satan. But we must pray now, friends, that Trump will refuse that offer. 
from Satan. So friends, let's intercede for Trump, but let's also intercede for ourselves and our fellow brothers and sisters across the earth, lest we too fall foul to the devil's evil schemes and come under his deception. Now friends, I've always said, haven't I, on end time hour when referring to Trump, let's not put our trust in princes, i.e. in Trump or in any other human being on the face of the earth who cannot save us. And we can read that in Psalm 146 verse 3. Peace friends and God bless you.